Welcome back to baseball. Hello everyone. Uh, this is youtube.com slash Rex. My name is Sean. Today we are playing game number 24 of the, uh, what's it called? The 2022 Seattle Mariners regular season. Fingers crossed we'll be getting to the playoffs. We're currently 15 and 8 and have a 1-0 series lead against Tampa Bay. Not a great start offensively. Uh, they brought in some uh, very effective pitchers against me yesterday uh, after we knocked their starter out um, and uh, our bats were kind of shut down but we did score four runs got the victory so that is good news um, and yeah that's kind of a kind of about it we have a tough matchup today we got a lefty on the mound Ryan Yarborough he's 2 and0 with a 0.94 ERA Chris Flexen is one and one with a 288 ERA and uh, that is uh, that's today's matchup. If you would like more baseball, it's posting every single day at 7 p.m. Pacific time right here on youtube.com slash Rex. So please be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell so that you're notified when I post new videos um, every every single day. Currently sitting at 899 subscribers, one away. So if you'd like to hit that button and help get to that, we can approach the next milestone, which would be 1,000 subscribers which is mind-blowing uh we're gonna just go ahead and jump on in here we're we have a three-game lead over the houston astros we'll see them here uh sometime i think about a week from now we actually can check the calendar yeah we'll see them on the second third and fourth of may can you believe we're already almost all the way through april wild absolutely wild um tampa bay got a 4-2 victory yesterday looking to build on that and here we go. Play full game. Whoa, whoa. We'll go with uh, we'll go with that alternate row. That's what they wore yesterday in the actual game. Um, I've fallen off of being ahead by a day in this. I gotta fix that. Toro. Uh, da, 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 da. Toro made some nice defensive plays yesterday. His fielding is sixty. Who? Fielding 86. Who is it? It's... Yeah, Dylan Moore can play first. I tinkered around with the lineup yesterday. Actually, I didn't. I thought about it, but I just chose not to. Oh, it's Ty France. Because I could do that and that... Uh, and then bring in, uh, whoops, Dylan Moore. I guess the fielding doesn't matter if, yeah, okay, let's see if we can figure this out. Uh, a couple of lefties, I usually like Kyle Lewis up here, Hanniger, Murphy, Dylan Moore, Dylan Moore has good enough speed to where I might actually want to try and get him higher in the lineup. Maybe I flip him and Frazier. I don't know if I, I don't know if Frazier needs to be that low. It does make for a very slow bottom of the lineup, but the speed does build as we get around towards the bottom. Because you have, like, good speed, good speed, good speed. And then it, like, really drops. But then builds pretty quickly. It does spread the lefties out. That's the thing I think is the most enticing about this lineup. Make sure people are in the right spots. Evan White's on for... Okay, perfect. Ty France, he's batting cold. We can, we can give him a day off. Fraley and left isn't going to help a whole lot. Uh, see, contact. Ooh, his contact versus lefties is really bad. Haggerty. I mean, honestly, Haggerty could be a... He doesn't have a ton of power. That's the thing. So, Haggerty... 
could that switch, which means he'd be going from the right side. He has 40 power and 54 contact. No, I think I read those numbers wrong. 39 and 61. Okay, 44 and 46. Uh, I think I think we're okay. I think it's tempting to bring in just another guy that just hits from the right side of the plate. But maybe if Frazier's down here in this lower spot, that'll be that'll be okay. He has a 223 average. The game even might might even tell me. Adam Frazier is not sealing the ball well. He's only a meager 194. All right, let's you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do Haggerty. Frazier, it's, it's a bit of a drop. It's a little bit of a gamble. Um, I also think I might honestly want to switch his speed up there. So we would have right, left, right, 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 left. We'd have two lefties in the lineup. Put more in the cleanup spot? Or do I put more here and drop JP Crawford to six? I like I like Hanniger in the uh, in that cleanup spot. Let's do that. Just kind of go with it. We're working with uh, legend pitching difficulty. We're already facing a guy who has uh, a very low ERA and a good record too. So, um, you know, why not, why not experiment a little bit? We have a long road trip. You can, you can tinker around. I'm not trying to go in and lose games necessarily, but there's nothing wrong with just giving something a whirl. We can always make substitutions. If they bring in, say like a, a right hander later in the game and, you know, we can, we can rotate around. We can figure it out. By the way, uh, here's your starting pitcher, Ryan Yarborough. Four starts with a 2-0 record, a sub-1 ERA. 28.2 innings pitched. He's only given up 24 hits. That's a whip of just 1.01 with those uh, those walks factored in there as well. Today we're playing for 2022 Tops baseball cards. Look yourself in the mirror, identify what went wrong, and make improvements. And I have no doubt that that's what this guy did. And Sam Haggerty will... Uh, and to be one of the best bounce back players lead off the, the lead off the game here we'll with a ball. Uh, we walked in a run yesterday. I think we had a solo home run from Hanniger and drove into on another another hit. And he grabs it in foul ground. Cutter, circle change, sweeping curve, and a sinker. I would anticipate seeing a lot of pitches low in the zone. Might be a good day for a lot of uh, contact swinging, unless we can maybe can get a hanging uh, off speed pitch. Next pitch is outside. There's no reason he should walk. That Next that that was a mm, that was a walk. And he deals. Haggerty started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and Ed Drummond right. That was very lucky. That was very lucky. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. I threw away, almost threw away a walk. The first one was a better swing than the second one. I, I mean, obviously, you don't want to be called out on strikes or whatever, but um, I think that made it. That just made it a three-two count, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Good eye right there, Chris. With that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. 2-0. Ground ball left side. Oh, the circle change the was a little early on it. First, it's a double play. What a surprise. Third, the center fielder, Kyle Two outs, base is empty. This is Kyle Lewis. Good power. 
not great in the OBP department. Rolled over to third. Uh, I got on top of it. That that sweeping it curve. Slings it across. I just out, mm, it dropped three. on me. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Zero zero. We go to the bottom of the first and on the hill, the oh, big right. Uh, Chris, Chris Flexen. Flexen. What's the scouting report on He's him? our guy. Four yeah, uh, four starts, a one and one record, 2.88 ERA, 25 innings with 27 hits, a whip of 1.12, one walk, 19 strikeouts. Bottom of the first. Now up for Tampa Bay, Randy Arozarena. And leading off. He's All someone right. that you might not describe as having elite level speed, Randy. but what are you he talking can about? absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That one the other way, just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. Now he'll turn for second. And he'll make it safely for a leadoff double. Well, that's uh, not the start that I was looking for. However, Randy Rosarina did give me some trouble yesterday. He's just, re he's really good. He gave me trouble yesterday. I want to say he gave me a lot of trouble last season. I don't remember that well, but that name of Rosarina really stands out. Uh, either because I thought it was cool or because I thought it was cool. And uh, he punished me mercilessly for however many games we saw him. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. Next pitch has popped up. Crawford brings it in, and there's one down. So two pitches, one out. We've already given up a double. Not wild about it, but that's uh, that's okay. Take a look at the Tampa Bay starting lineup. I really like that uh, that graphic that they have there. Who is a strike thrower? Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so they're going to have to work hard to generate base runners. And when you've got a strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be overly patient as a hitter because the umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you got to go up there, understand what's in his repertoire, be aggressive in what you can handle. And you get three swings, why not take all three of them? With his control and command, he's going to be in the strike zone. Calls it in, and there's two away. No advance. No reason to advance, honestly. That's out number two. Obviously, you don't want to double play at third, but anything in the gap will still get you. Will get you home with his uh, with his speed. We've had contact on all three of the pitches that we've thrown here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses. There we go. Finally, just a. I think you attack him in this spot. Looks like he's just a pitch that just isn't there. swung at. Pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to sit there. That one was uh, that one was bad. In the game, that may be a pitch that he turns on. The one one. That one to first, and that squirts through. Runner around third. He'll score, and it's one nothing. He's in there. Picks himself up an RBI. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. And now the hitter, G-Man Choi. Batting good. The center field. Lewis Choy. under it. And that is the third out of the inning. That's but okay. Gave up the uh, gave up the one. I, I think we gave up one in the first one inning up. yesterday as well. Uh, and I believe it was a Rosarina that's I think let off with like a double, worked his way around, something like that. Back here at the ballpark, top of the second. No big deal. Now Mitch Hanover. The Mariners. The right fielder. Mitch. And here it comes. Yeah, that's way outside. There. In for a that's strike. fine. That's fine. Would have just driven it, driven it into the ground. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire, Singy. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching. But you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down. So we'll see how it goes in this one. Line drive. Dang it. Here puts it away for the out. Yeah, there's one away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself oh, it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. 
Tom Murphy stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Oh, that looked really good. It looked super tasty. One down, base is empty. Right. Fuck, I looked right at it. God damn it. Strikes, and he knew it. So two down now, and here is J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. There we go. There we go. We'll cut her up in the zone. So the interesting thing about his pitching repertoire is none of them are super fast. None of his pitches are all that fast. So I need to make sure that I am staying back on it. Contact swing. Not everything has to be a home run. Typically with me, like it usually does, though. Uh, I've lost track of what, like, the home run, home run small ball comparison or percentage or whatever. But, um, First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Tend to look a little higher in the zone. You'll see here that his cutter tops out at 84. Circle change tops out at 81. The sweeping curve tops out at 73. And the sinker tops out at 89. Next off that was the pitch I was looking for, but I was looking in the wrong location. So everything's really slow, which means when they bring in a... Uh, if or when they bring in a new pitcher going to be quite the speed adjustment because I'm assuming that anyone who they bring in is going to be faster than this. 71 miles an hour. Okay, that'll work. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Here's Evan White. Oh, I just didn't quite get where I needed to get with that one. Dang it. Okay, uh, a couple of hits there. That feels, feels all right. No big deal. Try and get the timing down. Welcome back. Down to third baseman, Yandy Diaz. And leading off for the Rays, the third I, baseman. I, this seemed like it was Yandy hanging off a little bit more than it Diaz. usually does. The pitch. That clips a corner. <laughs> really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Fly ball Oof. to right. Oof. Under it. Hauls it in for the out. Pitch count looks pretty good through that first inning, but uh, way too much contact for my liking. I think the biggest issue I'm going to run into is getting the timing down, uh, both from the pattern timing to the, the drop timing. Because we gave up, I gave up a hit immediately. That is where I struggle the most is giving up hits and not getting into the uh, not getting into the flow. Giving up the hit on that first at bat means that I didn't get the timing down at all. There's finally a strikeout. Finally. Finally getting some swings and misses here. A lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. Mariners won last night. By pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball. Those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. And a bunt towards third. And it goes just Why? foul. 
two outs. And Marco able to spoil that one. Nope, way too fast. That's for center. That Ooh, was awful. That pitch was disgusting. Lucky that I'm getting that, that one back. It was way too fast base. around. It was too they early. Two that up. was a dead center circle change. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in, Alberto Rodriguez. Alberto Rodriguez. And a pitch. Rodriguez. There's the strike. Ooh. Frustrated with the strike zone. And oh, he hits a ground ball right side. Still early on that that uh sends it to first. One up, one down. What was that a sweeping down. curve, I think Sam is what Haggerty. it is. The second baseman. Sam Haggerty. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. Okay. Still early. That one misses in Way there. in the zone. Or out of the zone, I should say. Stays alive. I hate, I hate it. You can... I don't know how well it comes across on the game audio, but uh, there are, like, you can hear fans, a swing, strike, say that. And I'm Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two down. Well, Very susceptible. They didn't say anything that time. That was just a really bad, really bad swing. But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Now it's the DH, Dylan Moore. In there, and it's 0-1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. He's in a great spot right here, ahead in the count, 0-2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. Next pitch downstairs, now 1-2. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The one two. And down on strikes he goes. And that'll do it. And one, two, three go the Mariners. They're down one nothing. Not seeing it well at all. That was gross. That was Except really bad. Third, here's Kiermeyer now. And Lexon back to way. work. The center fielder. And a Get foul there. ball. Here, Meyer. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. And he'll two. A little surprised I got him to swing on that. That was a no, four-seam fastball that really sailed on me. Just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. The it's other hitter. guys that have to think about Randy. it. From your infielders, oh, have to right think on. about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. A Rosarena swings. We are really hitting the same spot over and over and over with the Rosarena. Um, that's basically all he saw yesterday was that low outside corner. And a pop up right side foul territory. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. That's the best case scenario right there. We peppered that part of the zone last time. Now Threw something in the opposite Bronco. corner. Wonder Franco. Now batting Wonder Franco. Here we go. 
That hits the dirt. And that is ball one. That one close. Ooh, Ooh, that's a, that's a strike, sir. Um. That's out to center field. Lewis makes All right, the that'll take care of uh, the third. It. So Tampa. through They're three, a couple of hits for each team, but the Tampa Bay Rays have pushed one across the plate. One nothing at Tropicana. The trap. That's where I would uh, put in five minutes of commercials. To the top of the fourth. Leading off, Leading off Kyle the Lewis. The center fielder, Kyle Lewis. Here comes the pitch. There's the strike. That was a bad swing. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Next offering misses, and the count one and two. That's a really good take. The next pitch misses, two and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Fouled it away. Kicks and fires. Oh, shit. Damn it. I mean, even with the... Even with it being... Ah, fucking God. Fucking damn it. Now batting. The right fielder. Mitch Hanniger. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. The pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And now it's even That up. is a bold take right there. That's fucking damn it. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Tom Murphy up next Tom for the Mariners. Murphy. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. It's soft. Man, the seeing why this guy has an under one ERA. He is peppering the bottom of this zone, and I can't do anything with it. That might be the most brutal XP that I've gotten uh, in this game, and it's doubled. And welcome back. Here's a big power threat. Brandon Lau. I would anticipate that the batting will uh, drop in its difficulty. Not seeing it very well, um, and it's it's... It's exactly the type of pitcher that like gives me trouble. Next off, anything that requires Steelers. any level of patience. But I mean, in all seriousness, though, like he is doing a lot of stuff in the lower part of the zone. He's peppering it very nicely and like putting stuff in the corners. Oh, okay. Um, so he's really like he's throwing dots. You know, he's painting it. Which is putting me in bad counts. I've had some good takes. I've been kind of patient every once in a while, but and I, I have to stay patient, and that's the issue. Eighty percent of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Bounce to the right. White steps on the bag. Two up, two down. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and the beat it into the ground. Head. G-Man Choi. G-Man Choi next to hit for the Rays. Oh, 
that one down the line, and that's just foul. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. Two down, nobody on. Me. And a foul ball. He that was a, not a good pitch. Righty to the plate. That misses. And the count's even at two. Way too fast on all of that. Next pitch Fuck off. off. And it's three and two. Really? On the ground, right side. Thankfully, he drove it into the ground. That one definitely sailed from where I wanted it. Ray's held in check here. We're getting good XP on the defensive side, on the offensive side. 27. And again, double. Now in Tampa Bay, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. Leading off and America. leading it off, J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. Yeah, difficulty decrease, that makes sense. Ground ball right side, Choi picks it up. There was uh, no on reason to swing at that pitch. Over to first. Pitcher gets to the back for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Toro, batting with one down, takes the strike. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. In the air, out to center. Long run, tracks it down. And there's two away. I have a feeling this is actually going to give me more trouble. Um, I I understand that I wasn't doing anything with his pitches, but he was consistently throwing them low in the zone. If he starts coming out of his out of character, oh there we go. Okay. Maybe that was just an intentional cutter. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. The one is outside. Okay, I was worried because I think that would happen in the last game uh, last season where it would just be like. Okay, now we're just going to feed you fastballs, even if it's outside of the, the pitcher's M.O. Um, if, like, for example, we've seen a ton of sweeping curves and a lot of the cutter, and all of a sudden you would use his fourth pitch, which in this case would be a four-seam fastball. It's like, oh, this game is trying to get you timing-wise to figure out what's going on. And the Mariners set down one, two, three. Mariners are down in order. Still behind by a count of getting one frustrated. To getting really frustrated. Back here at the ballpark. Here's the third baseman. How John the fuck did I get two hits earlier? That's what doesn't make any sense to me. Third baseman. Yandy. And the pitch. Diaz. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. Swings and fouls one off. The wide to kick the pitch. That smash towards center. And puts the squeeze on that one. And a quick out number one. The catcher, number 28, Francisco. So digging in, Francisco Mejia. Mejia. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Murphy under this one. And puts the squeeze on that. That's out number two. The right fielder, number 13. Manuel. Margo. Here's Manuel Margo. He's 0 for 1. In there. there we go. First That's a good fastball. On. Get that in there. Next offering is. God, that really did not feel like that should have been that bad. Bunt 
attempting, and it's in the air. Flexen makes the catch, and that'll do it. Rays go in order. One, two, three, but they hold a one nothing lead. Last inning was really Got quick for the Mariners field. as far as the, right, uh, the top half of inning number six. The, the pitch count was concerned. We actually had him in a pretty decent pitch count, and then the fifth inning came and went. And there's the strike. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Don't swing at that. And now the lefty. Going to count one and two. That one missing inside. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. Now that second baseman, Sam Haggerty. Sam Haggerty up next for the Mariners. That's to fuck third. off. Throw over to Choi. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting. Two the outs, base is empty. And Dylan. now the DH, Dylan Moore. Hard hit, left side. Throw in the dirt, and he can't come up with it. I mean, you got to take advantage of this, right? But I, it, that circle change is just fucking destroying me. That The worst part is that, like, that's a pitch that should be punished in some form. Double something. They're looking to take advantage of and make you pay for. Kyle Lewis up next for the Mariners. First offering misses the mark. Go with the tie and run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. Oh. Next offering is in for a strike. Moore off of first with two away. Let's go, Tampa. Gets the call. And the count, mm. one and two. <laughs> that was the pitch out animation. I really don't like swinging at those. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Bronco handles. Tosses to first. The error becomes a move point. Inning over. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rays one and the Mariners nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. And Boom, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. fielder. Gold glove caliber type yeah, out there. Offensively, he can Kiermaier. do some things, but he also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. The next offering misses at one and one. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Lewis makes the catch, and there's one down. Where are we in this lineup here? We're starting to get towards the uh, third go round. They only have a couple of. Uh, they only have a couple of hits, so. And right as I started that sentence, we have Randy Arozarena coming in here. Um. Let us check the bullpen. We did some damage to it yesterday. We won't see Steckenrider. However, we can throw up a Casey Sadler. We can bring in a Munoz as well. Um, oh, Justin Dunn listed as a starter. Interesting. We do have uh, Gonzalez. Who, he got injured yesterday. He looks pretty good. Well, let's warm up a Munoz. Ideally in the seventh. Um, use, I hit the wrong button. Kicks and deals. In the air, right field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. 
And there are two down. The batter, number five, shortstop, Wonder. The batter will be the uh, shortstop. Use like a Castillo Wonder in the eighth, and then uh, yeah, closer in the ninth, hopefully. If we can turn it around from uh, from the perspective of the bats. With the pitch count in this one. His pitch count looks really good. And his energy looks really good as well. It's the whole third time through the lineup thing that I'm a little worried about. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Next pitch is outside. And the count is one and two. And that one is lifted in the air. And that'll do it. Nothing doing for Tampa. They lead it one nothing. Hanniger, Murphy. Back. Now it's the right fielder, Crawford. A lot of times you're looking for a the guy right to fielder. get that tie and run Mitch. on base, but because Hanniger. of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. Now this one is hammered way back there on its way and gone. And we are tied. That one genuinely it's felt good. The yard. It's his eighth home run of the year. And we are starting over. It's 1-1. One, one. That felt good. That didn't feel cheap to me personally. Um, I I don't know exactly which pitch it That's was, exactly the pitch he was looking but I've, I've been looking toward that area a little more frequently, um, especially with this pitcher. I've been just focused on that that uh, lower part of the zone because that's where he's been peppering. Um, I did notice that his energy was getting pretty low. His confidence was really high, especially in that uh, the pitch that was on the Y, which I believe was a sweeping curve, which might have been the pitch that he threw. And though I didn't verbalize it, I was thinking like, okay, we're getting low in that, that energy. We're in the caution zone, even into the, like the, Hey, we got to get him out of here area. Um, and I was, I was wondering if maybe he would slip, just kind of just leave something kind of like I do, where it's just a little too high. And that is, uh, that is what happened. Perfect timing on that. That was a cutter on that one. Um, First offering misses badly for ball one. So now they brought in a right-handed pitcher. Not great for me who loaded this with right-handed batters, but maybe if we get in some positions, and we could bring in pinch runners or, or pinch hitters, excuse me, make some substitutions defensively, try and get a couple of lefties the uh, in the lineup. Now, the good news is we don't have anybody out. By the way, we're working against a slider, a sinker, and a four-seam fastball here's where the speed thing i was talking about earlier is going to come into play slider tops out at 90 the sinker and the four seam are 97 and 98 respectively Backed off the plate that time always excited um, to see a laid home run and the good news though gets the before i interrupted up, myself start to expect a big crawford's next we have nobody out so crawford's next toro should be behind so we'll have lefty lefty uh, as we move through yeah, this strike. inning and Toro gets gets that nice power bump as well. And the three one, and that's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. No outs. Runner at first. All right, here's Crawford. We'll hit next. Ooh, way too late. Way too late. Oh, Drats. I threw the walk away again. Abraham Toro up next for the Mariners. That one's in there, 0 1. Yeah. 
the 0 1. And ball one. I could get something to poke down that third base line. I'll be in a good position here. That one missed. That's a surprising ball call, but we have seen a couple of them. The strike zone's been a little wonky. Two down. And there's a the ball. At the belt and fires. Fouled off again. And Likely that's ball four. Don't want to give him the opportunity to call it a strike. And the righty deals. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. The three two is off the outside edge. That'll work. And that is ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the, the wall. Baseline, number 12, Very gritty. Evan. Two outs, runner White. at first. Stepping in, Evan White. Swung out, belted. That's back. And it's off the batter's eye. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. That was a right handy on a right handy. Fuck yes. Holy shit, Evan White. Fuck yeah. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. I didn't think it was going to get out of 420 just blazed. I didn't think it was going to get out, but that ball really carried. So two away with nobody on. And stepping in is the speedy Alberto Rodriguez. Alberto Rodriguez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The 1-0. -oh. That's fine. Line drive, base hit. This is why it's nice to have a pitcher who has a four seam fastball. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been they throw it in the part of the zone that I want to see it in, which is a little higher. It's a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Sam Haggerty, for the fourth time tonight. Shagwa keeping him close. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Rodriguez, the runner at first with two gone. That misses. Two balls, no strikes. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Next one is off the plate. Three and O. Oh. In the air, right field, Margot should have this one. Brings it in, and the inning is over. Well, that'll work. That'll work. Five hits for the Mariners. Three runs on the board, three runs, three hits in that inning alone. A couple of, uh, a couple of bombs there, solo shot, and a two-run blast to get us uh, tied and in the lead. So his energy is so good. He has thrown 55 pitches. I don't really want to take him out, but at the same time, we have given. Uh, just hope that he can get We've given up a lot of contact, back. like on cue. Um, makes the grab, one pitch, one out. Now I mean, maybe if we 
Here I don't want to play with this Beto. lead too much. One for two. In there, and it's 0-1. Pretty amazing, his first pitch strike percentage, over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. Deal two. Swing and a base hit. Hmm. That was uh, not what I thought I was going to get there. Really nice job. But that's okay. That's that okay. Nice job yeah, going the opposite First way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing sure. the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch. Ooh, that's a, that is a generous call there. See if we can work low in the zone here without having too much trouble. Waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Into center. Lewis in position. Oh, shit. Squeezes it. Yeah, there's two away. That's fine. That's fine. Yandy Diaz now. Third baseman number two. Yandy Diaz. In there for strike one. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Ball to strike. That one drilled left field. Back there. And gone. Third home run of the season, and they add a pair. It's 3-3. Three, three. Um. Hmm. I don't. I think that one sailed on me a little bit. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Two outs, nobody on. Francisco Mejia. Next hit, hit fucking the 46 power. Are you fucking kidding me? Mejia. And that's in there for strike one. Next offering upstairs. Here's a one two. And that one fouled off. One two now. The punch out there. So he's gotten deep into this damn it. game. Damn it, damn it, damn it. You know, I don't even really think that was leaving the guy in too long. I just, I think that was just a really bad pitch. It just sucks. It sucks when you have two outs and you're right there to get him out. And uh, throw a fastball, rides on you a little bit, and punched out for uh, Peter Fairbanks. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Punched out for a home run. We'll bring in, I, I think I have Castillo warmed up. We'll go ahead and bring him in. Um, Back here at the ballpark, we go to the eighth. Now the number two hitter, Dylan Moore. The designated hitter, Dylan Moore. And he deals. That's a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Owen Tuesday waves at that one. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. The pitch. Ooh. Another game under 10,000 attendance here for Tampa Bay. The one two. Everything's four seam fastballs. We have a slider that I can't see what it tops out at and a sinker. Off the mark there. Full count now. Suck my fucking dick. God fucking damn it. 
So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of the staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. And stepping in for the Mariners, Kyle Lewis. That one's in there, 0 1. Now the 0 1. Ball one there. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Matt Whistler, the veteran right hander, appears to be loosening up. Springs getting cranked up as well. 1 1 now. And another ball. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. That's a base hit. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. Now You're so it. much more right likely to get something you can Mitch. handle. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Mitch Hanniger. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Right into the play. Hot oh. shot to third, and that's a base hit. Just early on it, and a little too high. I'm very lucky that that position. snuck through. One away. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point this one. So here's Murphy now. First offering and it That's just outside. Don't if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Slice to right. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Out number two. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. First offering, that's outside. We're good. Let's hope that statistic comes into handy. 462 with uh, runners in scoring position, batting average. Right handed reliever. Uh, just getting it won't. Now the throw to first on the run. That's out number three. Mariners leave a couple, so no change in the score. It's 3 3. On to the bottom of the eighth. And yeah, the batter now, Manuel Marco. And Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this the good right defensively. Manuel Marco. Yep, I guess we're putting in, uh, bringing in Casey Sadler. That's okay. That's all right. He's having an excellent Sadler. season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. See with those last couple of pitches. Whatever. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone, and it's one of the fucking so damn it. Seriously, come on. Into his ability to go get it. It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball's going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Hanniger racing over to make the catch. Now batting, center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. Kevin Kiermeyer. 
next to hit for the Rays. In there for strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Next offering is Ooh, that's a generous, uh, generous strike call. Two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go off. He can go away. He can add velocity. He can subtract. I can throw it right over the middle, and thank God it's not crushed. To the pitch. Got him swinging. Two gone. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And you know, the cutter the isn't really a huge the swing and miss hitter. pitch most of the time Randy. because it's not really meant oh, to move a whole right lot. Down. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. And here is Randy Arozarena. In there, and it's all, all right. Got to be careful here. We have two outs. We have a big power guy, um, and a, a speedster as well. Here's your one. And that, that is very lucky that that sailed so much and wasn't just absolutely obliterated. And now one and two. Now two and two. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. On the ground to third. Toss to White. That is the inning. Down in order, go the Rays. Still tied, three and three. Back, it's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jeffrey Springs. Left-handed pitcher here. Let's uh. As he hides the ball for a long time, and from that same side, harder for you. Now we don't have the greatest part of our lineup coming up, but that's all right. Wind of the pitch. Toro in the box now. That's fine. Strike one. What are we what are we dealing with here? Four seam fastball, a slider, and a circle change. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And that drops foul. Only two now. Bounce to the left side. It's an okay swing. Obviously a bad result, but fine. You fucking idiot. You dumb, 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 dummy. Next pitch way upstairs. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Next offering is down low, and the count is three and one. And there's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. One down. Alberto Rodriguez up next for the Mariners. Yeah, Ooh, bad swing. I was looking for a fastball. That was a slider that very easily would it could have turned into a double play. Mercifully, it was a uh, foul. Fuck me. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The next pitch misses. It's a ball in two strikes. And the next pitch is way outside. One away, tie game. 
go ahead run stands at first. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch but just a little tardy on the fastball. Layers it into the outfield. Down the oh, line, just foul. foul. Just and foul. Pretty good against the lefty. Next pitch is outside. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Are you kidding me? Back to back walks? Now back Sam Haggerty up pitch. next for the Mariners. Sam Haggerty. Slice down the right side. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. One out. The go ahead run is at second. That one back up the middle and it gets through. White headed for the plate. In there safely. That's Sam Haggerty's first hit of the season. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI oh, to give him the yeah. lead. Just kept it simple. Played Let's Jackson fucking go. Let's fucking go. It's a gold, good hold for Rodriguez at second because uh, he has enough speed to get home. I mean, yeah, it's a good hold. It's a good hold. He has enough speed. Maybe try to get him first to third for a sacrifice fly with only one out, but. That one's in there, 0 and 1. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Oh, big swing at the slider. Big swing. I mean, it was a contact swing, but lucky to get contact there. Slider four seam and a two seam. His pitches are just like slower enough. That four seam and the two seam topping out at 94 and 93. And a pitch. Oh, I. The velocity blasted it right past him. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead. Two seem low in the zone. Lose. Gross. Now the box comes up empty with a swing there. Next offering misses. Better. One and one. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pick. That's down and in. In the air, out towards right center. Marco sizes this one up. Puts the squeeze on that one. Not great. Not great. Sam Haggerty, though, came through big. That'll work. Okay. We're bringing him in. We're bringing in the closer. Let's see what we can do here. Remember, we got a 14-pack of cards on the line here. We look like we might be able to open them. Paul Seawald, though. 12 games with uh, 11 save conversions out of 12. 1 0 record. 13 innings pitched with a 1.38 ERA. 21 to 2 strikeouts to walks. So lefty's batting uh, 90 points better at 161 over righties. Two pitches of each of his going. We'll uh, try and get the heck out of here with a win. And I guess put the, uh, we could put, the, could be putting, I'm getting way ahead of myself here. Could be putting a fat pack of cards on the line. Ugh. All right, hold on. I want the slider again. Let's try a, the two seam. That's fine. Let's go one more slider. I was originally just going to do two of each of them, but. Hmm. 
slider is uh, not great. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop. Wonder Franco. Here comes a pitch. Not shortstop. That's a generous strike call. Nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. In the air, left field. Rodriguez. One down. Squeeze on that one. One away. No matter. Number eight. Second baseman, Brandon. And now it's Brandon Lau. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Next offering is in for a strike. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Chases that one out of the zone. Down to the last out for the Rays. Fuck well, yes. Fuck yes. Staple as a strikeout pitch over the years. Okay. And what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity at spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone, you don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop up. The next offering misses. Okay, and settle down. Is settle down. Up. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. The count two and one. And a foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. He swings and lifts one to deep center field. Back there. Off the base of the wall. And now the tying run is in the scoring position. That's not where I wanted to give up that hit. Two outs, two strikes in the ninth. Fuck me. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. I hate it. It ain't over yet. So it's their last chance in this one. G-Man Choi next to him. Fuck, and we're starting with a ball again. Just throw the fucking ball in the strike zone. Next offering upstairs. You fucking suck. Next pitch misses. What is happening? Appears to working around him with the base open, singing. Come on, what? Well, how did I lose the flow? say that but oh, that's a base hit coming home head for a slide and he's safe with two outs with two, two outs with two outs big spot to drive in the wall pretty good spot hard and inside but that's a that's so frustrating that's not the place for me to start blowing this stuff going oh come on take that back up the middle shows his approach is to use the entire I can't find the fucking strike zone. Next offering is in for a strike. Pitch. And a foul ball. Two outs, but the winning run is at first. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Good job of damage control right there. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy. Blew the save. Results. Blew the save. And welcome back. We're in extras here, and now Mitch Hanniger. Mitch And a pitch. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth. So here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button. Try to get some more runs and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. And the 0-1. There's the swing in a bit. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter into the 0-2 count. Fucking sliders. You got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. And this is inside.
in plenty of time. The first one away in the top half of the 10. And here's the catcher, Tom Murphy. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Tied up here in extra innings. That one ripped. Kiermaier racing Damn. over to make the catch. Just couldn't get enough on it. Now, that now it's the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. First pitch, and he just misses. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Andrew Kittredge, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Braley warming up as well. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Oh, and actually got down. Wow. I thought he would be able to get under that and get a catch, but... Results he's been having lately. I'm sure he's feeling some relief. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Towards first, that's a hit. That's not what I want with my big power, guys. I want to fucking crush it. I want to fucking smash it out of the goddamn universe. Hey, 70 gamer score at least. I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Now the go-ahead runs in scoring position, so big opportunity for them to jump ahead late. Evan White getting ready to hit. He's already homered here in this one. Out to short. Franco on the first. That ends the frame. <laughs> Mariners leave a couple. This game's all tied. Yeah, what a fucking surprise. What a fucking surprise. The Mariners leave a couple. They've scored four runs on six hits. I have ten hits. I can't manufacture a run. I was lower in the zone that I was looking for. I should have just let it fucking go. And stepping in for the Rays, Francisco Mejia. Seawall back to work. On the ground, right side. Toss to White. One out the bottom of the ten. This is kind of the worst case scenario for me. Um, I don't really want to damage, like, I don't want to work the bullpen too hard. We had to work a bunch of guys yesterday. We have to do it again today. We have a fuckload of games before we get another day off. Manuel Margot up to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. That one to first. White picks it up. A flip to the pitcher covering. And that quickly, two away. Oh, a well-thrown slider like that one can Kevin. be tough to get in the air. Good down with break on that one. Kevin. So next to the plate for Kiermaier. Tampa Bay, Kevin Kiermaier. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. And a 1-0. Right field, down the line, and that one slices down. Oh, wow. That was so close to ending this one. Man, just bent into foul territory at the last second. I'm telling you, it can be tough to refocus and, and get back into the rest of this at bat, but he's got to find a way to do it right here. Fouled off. He was late. All tied up here in extra innings. The next pitch misses, and the count is even, two and two. Tied to four. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is that. Ray's held in check here, still all square at four apiece. Raise. They go to the bullpen. Brooks Raley. Bringing up a lefty here. Maybe I can take advantage. Fuck. Eleventh inning set to get underway, and now Alberto Rodriguez. Cutter, slider, sinker, sweeping curve, and a four-seam fastball. And a pitch. Just missed. And 
and that's in for a strike. Oh, that's not good. Collects the throw to Ferris. One off one down. Good onside run and sink on that pitch right there. Yeah. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Damn. So the lineup flips over. Here's the Mariners leadoff man, Sam Haggerty. First pitch, just misses. Haggerty picked up his first hit of the season, giving us a 4-3 lead in the ninth. Unfortunately, couldn't hold it. The lefty, the 1-0. There's a strike. That's fine. Low in the zone. I'm looking high. The lefty ready and a 1-1. That's the third. And it's just foul. That is close. And a 1-2. That misses. And the count is 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Damn it. And there's two gone following the strikeout. The batter, the designated hitter, Dylan Moore. So up next, Dylan Moore. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. So Guessing that was early. Yeah, way too early. Already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Say you won. Oh, my God. Going to now. That one fouled mm -hmm. off. The 0-2. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. And one, two, three, go to Mariners. Score remains tied at four. So fucking irritating. So fucking irritating. God fucking damn it, what are you doing? Back here in extras. All right, here's Castillo. No record, two saves in two opportunities, seven games with eight innings pitched. No ERA. Righty's batting 222, which is a little worrying considering that we have a Rosarina batting, but. Will you figure out your fucking strike zone? I know it's a warm up pitch, but fuck off. Eat shit. I don't fucking care anymore. God damn it. And here it comes. Back to the mound. Come on. Fires there we go. The first, that uh, that should have been punished. Range. That should have been probably a game losing pitch right there. That was awful. For Tampa Bay. Wander Franco. The first pitch if only they gave you some kind of warm-up pitches that you could use instead of being a fucking baby, you know? Swing and a miss, and the count one and one. Next offering is down low. Come on, Castillo. You're my man here. I believe in you. I believe in us. Rip to third. I believe in you, Toro. Thank you. Throws to first. Franco gone on the play. The batter, number eight. Second baseman, Brandon. Wow. Brandon Lau, next to hit for the Rays. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing and thunder in that bat. A one down. Look out, Mariners. That one wrapped foul. That animation for all of them was just this. 
That was like the best swim team you've ever seen. And one and two. Okay. That looked pretty good to me, but sure, game, whatever. Come on, that's where you want to fucking... Just let me just, just swing through it. Pitch misses. How? Count what the fuck? Come on! Call him out! There we go. Fucking finally. God. Alright, going to the 12th. Thank you, Castillo. This game's all tied at four. God, I'm a real fucking idiot over here. Oh, I said suck earlier. And now in Tampa Bay, onto the 12th. And now the center fielder, Kyle Lewis. The center fielder, number one, Kyle Lewis. Rayleigh, back to work. God fucking damn it. I hate that pitch. Fucking son of a bitch. I hate that pitch. Didn't make any contact, though. Up the middle. And there's a base hit. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Really yeah, nice man. job staying up the Good middle with you. his approach. He didn't try yeah. to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Yeah, what happened on that? I thought it for sure it was going to hit his leg. I guess it, like, squeaked through. So here's the cleanup hitter, Mitch Hanek. He's already homered in this game. That's hard hit in the line. That's gone. That That's fucking gone. gone. Let's go. Another two-run lead for the Mariners. How will we blow it? Stick around for the bottom of the 12th. And they jump out front. It's 6-4. I stick with Castillo, right? Stick with my main man, Castillo. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Now a new pitcher for the Rays, Andrew Pittridge. He's being eased into the game here with the bases Andrew. Pittridge. Might get a, might get another save opportunity. Or we should have a save opportunity here for, uh, Here's the catcher to hit, Tom Murphy. Slider, sinker, four seam. Good timing. There we go. That's that's First what I was looking for. We, we saw a couple of those pitches. I think they might have both been with Hanniger. Um, but just don't be afraid to cheat down a little bit, especially if you have the power. Hanniger has good power against lefties. She has tremendous power against lefties. Um, Chopped out in front of the plate. Mejia gets it to first. And uh, you know, out. that'll work. I was able to golf it over the left field wall or the right field wall, whatever. Left field. Uh, for uh, for a hit. A home run. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Nick Anderson, the closer of the staff, is throwing. The 1-0. Oh, that one, that one dropped on me. Lau sends it to first. That's out number two. Two outs, bases empty. And now for Seattle, Abraham Toro. Oh, I wanted that one. I wanted to fucking crush it. Shit. 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 That was it. That look at that was a hanger. God damn it. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. So he definitely wants to stay low. That must have been just a bad pitch. Ooh. 
Okay. All right. That's fine. Haniger though, coming in, coming through. Seven Eleven. That's the XP. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Austin Meadows. Okay. What can we do here? Castillo. That's a slider. Leaked a little more over the plate than I wanted it to, but not great. Ooh, there we go. There we go. A little generous strike call there. Try and pin right in that low outside corner. That's my slider. That'll work. Even better. Even better. A swing and a miss. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. G Man Choi digs in now. And he's already singled in this game. And that's in there for That's fine. That's fine. That's a strike regardless. A strike regardless. Rounds one back up the middle. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Come on. I don't have the arms in the bullpen for this. I really don't. And here is Yandi Diaz. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Ooh, ooh, back. ooh. That was, uh, that was not good. On the ground to third. We're going to get the win. Hey, that was uh, kind of fun, huh? Not really? Maybe a little bit? Just a little bit? Cowboy Cat's happy about it. Let's go. Yikes. Holy shit. Um... You know what? Offensively, I understand that the, that the difficulty dropped a little bit, um, but I do think that I made some good hits on some some solid pitches um, that we were able to take advantage of. One straight to dead center. Haggerty comes through with his first hit of the season. That drove in a run in the top of the ninth. We were able to get Lewis on in the top of the twelfth and uh, crush a homer to get back into the game. There's G-Man Choi. He had a ribby. I believe that was in the... Did he have a ribby? Maybe that was in the first. Twelve hits. Six runs on twelve hits. Not great. Got to cash more of those guys in. Hanniger is your player of the game. He was three for six with two home runs, three ribbies, and scored twice. A solo and a two-run home run. Uh, Castillo is actually just going to get the win. Um, two innings pitched, two strikeouts, no hits, no walks, no earned runs. Uh, in Brooks, Raleigh, Rayleigh, he gets the loss. He gave up two hits, struck out two, two earned runs, no walks in his lone inning pitched. Uh, for the Tampa Bay, the notables, Meadows, Austin Meadows was three for five with a couple of doubles. A ribby scored twice. Yandy Diaz was one for five with a two run shot. Uh, Randy Rosarina was one for five with a double. And scored a run, and then G-Man Choi was one for five and knocked in a ribby, but I don't remember when that was. Oh, it must have been in the ninth. Okay, never mind. I forgot. Never mind. I, I forgot what the score was. My bad. All right, that was, a, that was a long game. Evan White was one for four with a two-run home run. Scored again. I'm confused by that thing. Oh, he must have. Did, I, did Evan White walk? Lewis was two for six, scored a run. Abraham Toro, two for five, scored a run. Hey, and got me an achievement, which puts us, uh, which puts me at 244, 916 as far as uh, gamer score is concerned. I uh, haven't been earning a whole lot of that uh, precious gamer score, but that is okay. We have earned a series win, though. That is important here as we go into uh, the third and final game of this three-game set. A lot of... 
a lot of wear and tear on the bullpen. Um, I maybe I'm being dramatic. I hope I'm not being too dramatic about that, but uh, we've we've had to use a lot of bullpen pitchers, and we've had to use bullpen pitchers for a long period of time. We probably won't see Stack and Rider today, or even or tomorrow, or maybe even the first game of the following series in Miami because we used him for like three innings. I think it was yesterday. We saw a couple innings out of uh, uh, Castillo. Saw a couple innings out of. Uh, Seawald, we've been using a lot of a lot of bullpen arms, but it, it should be okay. Justice Sheffield will be on the mound tomorrow, five nine two on that ERA. Yuck! Take it on Drew Rossman, one and one with a three seven four ERA. As the Mariners, who have doubled up their losses, sixteen and eight, uh, take on the ten and fourteen Tampa Bay Rays in tomorrow's series finale. But before I let you go now, please stick around while I open this pack of cards kind of quickly because I gotta. I have other things to do, video game. I don't have time to play 14-inning baseball games, all right? 12-inning baseball games. Should have probably left the um, the invisible, like the, the automatic runner on. I probably would have lost that game in that scenario, but whatever. All right, we're opening uh, actual this year cards. There you go, tops Baseball 2022 Series. Um, series 1. I don't think I ever got any of the Series 2 from last year. First up, we have Aaron Judge of the New York Yankees. Pretty sure we actually have that, have seen that card already. We have Max Kepler for the Twins. It's a nice pose. Nice. That looks like a warm-up jersey to me, but I would assume that they're just wearing that as an alternate jersey. Hey, here we go. Here's a guy for us. Here's a, hold on. Here's a guy for us, Cal Raleigh, our backup catcher. In that beautiful seafoam green. The camera doesn't know what to focus on. The man in the green with the tight pants and the large butt. That would be helpful. Luis Robert is our next card up. I hate how slick these cards are. Uh, yeah. This is a sweet shot. I don't know if that, um, that bat is like photoshopped in after the fact or it just kind of like looks like that. Incredible. Love it. Mike Yastrzemski. Here's an interesting thing about these uniforms. I did not know that the San Francisco Giants had these uniforms until I was looking at a a baseball highlights video. Because here's the thing. YouTube like loves to pretend that it knows you. Uh, where it's just like, hey, here's your recent uploads. Here's like your suggested videos or whatever recommended. And it just like pelted like every highlight from yesterday. It was just like, boom, like check out all these MLB highlights. I'm like, well, you call I watched the Mariners highlights. That's all I need to see. I, yeah, I watch a lot of like very small sports clips and John Boy breakdowns, but I don't need every baseball highlight from yesterday. You can relax. But I saw that uniform for the first time and I was, I, I'm, I kind of like it. I don't know that I like the orange. I, I, I complain that baseball uniforms are boring. And then when someone does something, I still complain anyway. I love the bridges on the sides of the, of the sleeves. I think that's fantastic. I like the simple G on the front. It's just the color. The color seems like it's too bright. Like it should be more of like a burnt orange rather than like a, Hey, there's construction work coming up. Please speed fines are doubled. Oh, we got a fantastic, fantastic card here. I love this. Kevin Pillar of the uh new york mets that is that is tremendous that is a tremendous card love it uh emmanuel riviera of the kansas city royals got a hit threw his bat down hell yeah in one of the highlight videos i was watching uh i think it was the angels and the guardians somebody slammed their bat down and broke it and it was awesome Speaking of the Angels, Jared Walsh is our next card up. Come on, focus. I really don't have time for this. Here I am telling a bunch of stories. Zach Grinke of the Houston Trash Trows. We'll see them sometime next week. We have a three-game set in Miami before heading to Houston right at the start of, uh, of May. So stick around for that. Ivan Castillo. A rookie card. 
for uh, for San Diego. Big fan. I've talked about it before briefly, but uh, I, I don't know what it is about the brown and yellow. The Wyoming football uniforms and the San Diego Padres colors. Very nice. Ahmed Rosario for the Cleveland Guardians. There you go. Pretty nice pose there. Uh, we have Max Scherzer of the Dodgers. I hate this uniform. I hate it. I The hat looks the stupidest. It just like straight up says Los Angeles on it. The, all of this is awful. All of this is awful. And then, oh, do we have one more card or two more cards? Oh, two more cards. Okay. We have uh, Akil Badu. This looks familiar. We have a couple of cards that look like, or I have a couple of cards that look like this, but maybe we have this guy. I'm not sure. And then we have Jose Ramirez. This one, I believe we have, uh, have seen on the channel. I do like these, the, the look of them. They're very nice. Uh, he'll, the, they play for the, uh, Guardians. I saw red and I thought twins. Uh, but there you have it. There's your matchup for tomorrow. tomorrow. Um, and uh, here's a quick look at the rest of uh, uh, April. Wanted to say August. Wanted to say October. But it's April. Before moving in to May, the Mariners 16-8 and eight through 24 games. Far better than our record last year. The offense took a little bit of a dip from a difficulty perspective. But I still think that we pitched well enough to win in that game, which is kind of weird because I gave up the lead twice in that. Uh, and our closer will now be 11 of 13 in saves and opportunities, because that is a blown save. But this time we come away with the win. Last time he blew a save, he got the win personally. Um, I forget exactly which game it was, but he did uh, He did get the win. It might have been like in Minnesota or something. I don't know if we've seen a walk-off yet, so I'd, I can't remember. But anyway... Uh, that's today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We got a ton more of this where uh, throughout the throughout the summer we'll be here every day. The Mariners play. So uh, if you'd like to see that, stick around, scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell. That way you're notified when new videos post. Uh, and uh, as always, we'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Go sports. Go Mariners. Quick goes, you're going to just do a quick subscriber check. You still have an opportunity to be subscriber number 900. So if you'd like to do that, please scroll down and do that. It's a long video today. Thanks for sticking all the way through it. Uh, again, go sports, go Mariners. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.